Hello everyone, this is me Abdullah Laman and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your uh, layout elements such as these uh, text, button, widgets, all of these to your Java section alright and I'm also going to show you how to connect your layout itself to your Java section so let's just do that let's go to the text section here and here let's just take a relative layout here because I want to work with a relative layout I will be talking about constraint layouts and other layouts later on at this uh, stage we are going to work with relative layout because I like relative layout and relative layout is very effective also so let's just do that and take a text view here wrap content wrap content the width and height of the height are wrap content now I will show you exactly what that does you see uh, let's say I have a text here which is something says have fun no and then um, let's just give it a text size which is 36 SP you see the moment I increase the text size the size of the whole text view itself increased if I actually decrease it the size of the text view will be decreased so that's about that what wrap content does is that it makes a uh, width or a height uh, in such a way that it is as big as it needs to be in order to hold whatever it has inside it so that's what it did all right and then uh, let's just do something else with this thing um, let's just see um, use a property called center horizontal and true this will position it at the horizontal center of the screen okay and then give it a margin top of 30 sp 30 dp whenever using a using a distances use dp all right and when you are using the size of a text use sp the next thing that you should do is take a button wrap content wrap content let's just give it a text which is like a fun button and then position it somewhere like center in parent I will be talking about the positioning properties of relative layout in a <coughs> video soon enough I have already created the video I will be publishing it soon enough and in that video you will learn how to position your views inside a relative layout and you will learn everything about positioning in relative layout don't worry about it too much right now so let's just give it true and it will position it at the very center all right so that's that now let's go to our java file and figure out how to connect these two and the layout itself to the java file so at first i will show you how to connect this layout itself and then i will show you how to connect these two okay so let's just do that by the way i hope you remember the on create method that i showed you earlier and i said that an on create method is a method that is called when your Android application opens and this onCreate method is the method that is called at the very beginning at first when your Android application opens when you are using it that's when alright so I also said that anything that you want to happen at the very beginning of your Android application opening when you are using it those code should be inside this onCreate method and I said that this onCreate method is a callback method and I am going to talk about the life cycle, life cycle of an activity and other stuff in a different video that's why you will be more clear about these callbacks methods for now just know that this is the method where you should do the programming that you want to happen at the very beginning of your Android application opening now one of the things that you want to happen at the very beginning of your Android op application opening is this you want to connect your layout file with the activity.java file at the very beginning isn't it because you want to have the design connected to your programming at the very beginning so that's what you do and that's why you do that programming the programming for connecting inside this on create method okay now in order to connect that we use a method called set content view and inside this method what we do is this we use the name of the activity itself which is activity main and the activity main by the way I will be talking about this r.layout section later on 
in a different video within maybe two or three videos for now just know that in this section you have to write it like this r dot layout layout actually is the folder name as you can see r is something else i will be talking about that layout is a folder name the folder name where inside inside which your um, your xml file is so this is the folder name layout and then we use a dot operator which is actually the x which is used to access some folder inside a java folder anyway so that's what we are doing we are using dot operator so layout dot and then we are using uh, the name of the activity which is activity main so that's how your set content view is connected all right okay for the last time by the way for the last time don't worry about this r section uh, i will be talking about that in a within a few videos all right so the next thing that we need to learn i want to teach you is this i want to show you how to create connect these things so in order to do that at first what you have to do is this add an id and identification now the id name can be anything okay so let's just name it anything okay and then um, id and then name, name it something okay all right now what is id you see an id is an identification for example you had five text views here and you want to point towards a specific text view how do you know which text view to point out or you have maybe not only a text view you have certain views a lot of views and you want to point to a specific text uh, a specific view not only a text view a specific any view how do you do that you don't know you don't have a name for example your mom you have you, for example in your family you have you are you have three brothers or maybe five sisters three brothers and you want to call one of them now if they don't have a name an identification then you can't so that's what this is an identification a name all right and about this section here at the right plus id plus uh, forward slash this section i will be talking about this section when i talk about our dot java file that's when for now just know that in order to add an id you have to add this one like this and by the way let me just show you something id when you write it this id section is automatically here so just press enter and it will be here and then name it something okay and uh, we want this here and we want this here okay so that's about that we have to give an id now we have to next go to the java section inside here we have to take a relevant object for example uh, you have in order if you can want to connect a text view you have to take a text view object here if you want to, to connect a button a button object for an image view an image view object for a something else a something else object okay so let's just do that uh, in order to take a text view take a text view object like this text view text view and we could name it anything by the way here right for example am text view and then we want a button so this is where uh, this is the button and then just name it anything i'm going to name it am button all right then the next thing that you have to do is this you have to come here all right so at this point what you have to do is this you have to come here and then give the am text view which we just defined and then you have to write it something like this find view by id and inside this we have to write r dot id about this section i will be explaining when i talk about id section and then <coughs> here you have to give the um give the id that you gave it like anything and something in this case so let's just give it anything and then for example the for the button m button you have to do this find view by id r dot id dot something was it right so this is that okay now by any chance <coughs> by for example in any case if it doesn't work and show you some kind of error saying that it is it doesn't know something there is some kind of error what you have to do is this you have to typecast it into a text view for a text view and you have to typecast a button into a button like this okay you don't necessarily have to do this anymore you, you actually had to do it in the previous versions of uh, android id you don't have to do it anymore but just in case you face that problem then you could have to do this because 
what happens is this this find view by id actually returns a object of view view i mean it returns a view object now um, in order to type in order to transform it into a specific kind of view for example a text view or for example a specific button view you have you could or you might have to type cast it but uh, nowadays truth is you don't have to so that's about that and then now you are all set these two are connected now now whatever change you make to these buttons here or text views here will be affecting this one for example let me just show you what is it saying have fun of course don't have fun who says that all right okay so here that happened now let's just change it like at the moment the default value is have fun fun button right fun button okay that's fun anyway so let's just go down and change something with these things like for example the text view and then we just can change the set text and then give it like have too much fun and then m button here dot set text and then start or there's something life jinga da la life jinga da la blah 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 whatever so let's just do that and run it and see when we change it here it changes it here have too much form life jinga da la blah 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 <laughs> so that's about that and uh, i hope you have you are having a good day and uh, so i pray that you have a good day have a good life take care